Nation. Sorry it's been so long since the last video, but it's summer vacation. You know, I just got a new job with the school system and I, I've been enjoying my summer, you know. Really working hard on the honey to-do list and, you know, spending time with my daughter and other things like that. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to do an episode of one of my passions. I don't know if you can tell by the shirt or what I'm drinking, but I enjoy bourbon. And I was thinking, what better thing to make than peach, bourbon, barbecue, pork tenderloin. And there's no better bourbon to use. Well, whoa, whoa, no, this is, <laughs> we're not using Blanton in this recipe. <laughs> That's nuts. No, we'll be using Jim Beam peach. <laughs> Just don't have the budget for blantons. And it's a very simple, easy recipe. And the shoe I'm pairing it with, the Air Force Max. First released in 1993, the shoe that Charles Barkley wore to an MVP season that year. And also an iconic shoe that the Fab Five wore to the, to, to the title game, which they ultimately lost because Chris Webber called a timeout on them. But before the shoe, let's get to the recipe. Let me finish this drink. Let's get started. And let's get to what we're gonna need for this recipe to get it started. Pork tenderloin. About a pound, minus a pound and a quarter, a little bit more. The marinade is, I didn't measure, it's, it's simple. Uh, it's ground mustard, uh, orange juice, soy sauce, garlic, rosemary, and salt and pepper. We're gonna need four peaches, diced up, half of an onion, honey, one third of a cup of Jim Beam peach, or any bourbon you have. I'm doing the Jim Beam peach because it's cheap, and also it'll enhance that peach flavor. Third of a cup apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of chili powder. And let's throw all of this beautiful stuff into the pot. Once we get all our ingredients into the pot, we're gonna cook that till 15 to 20 minutes until the peaches are nice and soft. And then we're gonna put it in the food processor. And we're back with the shoe review of these, the Air Force Max. These debuted in 1993. And Charles Barkley rocked them for his NBA MVP of that year. You know, just coming up just short to the GOAT, Michael Jordan in the NBA Finals, and also synonymous with the Fab Five and that timeout that Chris Webber called. But they're awesome shoes, love them to death. Uh, these aren't an original colorway. These are the University Red colorway. And the reason I got these is because huge Niner fan. And every football Sunday, these are my, <laughs> these are my football Sunday shoes. So it goes perfectly with that Niner Red. Uh, basically, Air Max system in the back. You got this nice Velcro strap. Basically, to, if you can't get that nice tight, tight fit, the strap is supposed to help that also. Uh, they're in a beautiful red suede. I don't know if you can tell. Um, for shoes now, like playing, you could play in it. Uh, it's not up to date like all these new shoes with all the fabric and fly knit and, and it's, it's heavy. But I love 90s shoes, you know, all the Air Maxes, all that retro stuff. I just really like it. And this shoe is one of them. Now that we have our mixture in the food processor, let's blend it up. So I just got done with the barbecue sauce. And rule of thumb, always make sure you taste as you go along. So the peaches weren't really that ripe. So I had to add some sugar to them. I added about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I also put it in the blender because the food processor wasn't um, making it into a sauce. So again, just try to make sure the peaches are ripe. But now let's get to the grill and cook our tenderloin. Once our grill is hot, we'll throw our tenderloin on until it reaches an internal temperature of 145. Now that our pork is done, and now we'll plate it. We're gonna take some of our barbecue sauce. Make it light, nice, fancy looking. And to take a couple pieces of our pork. I 
right there, right there. Peach, bourbon, and there we go. I paired it with some asparagus and some roasted fingerling potatoes. And usually I would dig right in, but today we're gonna have somebody else dig in and give me their impressions of this dish. And here is my special guest, my lovely wife, Erica. I always drag her in to do these things. So she's gonna try it and tell me what she thinks. All right, here we go. So the, cut into the meat, get a little of the sauce on there. Put some peach with the meat. Let's try this. It's taking me a long time. How's the meat? Is it flavorful? Excellent. So you taste the barbecue on the tenderloin. There's great flavor, and I like how it's paired um, with the puree. It tastes really nice little zing and zest and some sweetness that comes in at the end. It's very good. Can I eat the rest now? Yes. All you right. can eat the rest tonight, and you can get off camera. Sounds good. Uh, Bye. Well, I really had a blast filming this episode. I really have to thank my wife for uh, contributing and giving her two cents on my uh, delicious meal. And again, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, later.